So I, I'm divorced. I don't know how we got from there to there, but <laughs> sometimes we get lost on these roots. Oh yeah, I was telling you, ah, I fucking remember. You guys ever gotten into a fight before? Twice. Why do you keep, the fact that you've kept track. How long, well, how long have you been together? 20 years, so one every 10 years. You just hold it up, get all intense, and you're fucking lucky that our 10 year anniversary is in six months. I'll see you there, I got something to fucking say to you. What's the angriest you've ever been at him? You don't know? I bet you he does. What's the angriest she's ever been at you? He fucking knows. I can see in his little eyes, he's going, hmm, that time at the Renaissance Fair when I took her to a Renaissance Fair. How close was I with the Renaissance Fair, guess? Not close at all? Well, you could have fucking played games, couldn't you? Here's a time, uh, my ex was the angriest at me. It was, uh, we later got divorced. Anyway, our, uh, our fight was, we, we fought it for six weeks in the middle of the pandemic. I don't know what you guys did in the pandemic made sourdough. Me and the ex, <laughs> and pussies, we worked on our communication. You know what I'm saying? Now, my ex was those type of person that after, you know, a full day of fucking just getting into the details of a relationship, she could go to sleep, not me. I needed that night time to, you know, plan my next move, figure out how I'm going to win. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so she would go to sleep, and then I would wander Los Angeles, just fucking getting ready for the next fucking day. And as I was wandering the streets, I sort of realized, oh, shit, I don't think our marriage is going to survive. And I had this thought while well, I stood in the middle of the road, which is not the best time for that because my, my, my legs stopped walking and I just stood there and thought about that for a bit. So much so that a car then uh, stopped right at my legs and really leaned on the horn. And I, I don't know if any of you have ever been through a divorce, but it's a moment where you feel very lonely and I felt wrong. I didn't want to be wrong anymore. I didn't want this car to honk at me. And so I just instinctively just put up the middle finger and said, ah, would you shut the fuck up? Now, I should have looked at what kind of car it was because it turned out it was an LAPD cop cruiser. And I don't know if you guys know this about the LAPD, not really known for their understanding. <laughs> you can tell that based off of the songs they have inspired, like uh, Fuck the Police by NWA, or uh, De Cops Are De Corrupt by KRS-One, or of course, Cop Killer, uh, bracket, We Gotta Kill These Cops by Ice, or of course, uh, I Don't Care For These Gentlemen, They Rude by John Hastings. <laughs> I'm John Hastings, that's why that last part is funny. But I like how you guys don't know my name, so some of you laughed and all the rest of you just went, I've never heard of a rapper named John Hastings. I'm gonna say this right now, he's either really good or really bad. And my name is John, it's a weird name. My brother's name is Cullen. You can tell that's why he's the favorite, you know what I mean? His name is Cullen, which is Gaelic for gift from God. And my name is John, which is American for toilet. And. Uh, Anyway, so I've realized that this is a LAPD cop cruiser. I've given him the finger, you know what I'm saying? And I immediately drop it down. And I remember my next thought being, well, I don't know what crime I just committed, but I know I'll be going to jail. I wonder what gang I'll join. With this face, mm, there's not really a choice. It's Aryan Brotherhood or nothing. And the cop got out of the car, right? And he, uh, and he looked at me. And uh, before he could say anything, I just, needed to, I just knew I needed to explain it. So I just went, uh, officer, I am so sorry. Are you married, sir? And then he just looked at me and he went, I am. I understand. Goodbye. And then he just got in his car and he drove away. If you know anyone going through a divorce, reach out. Say hello. It's a weird thing to go through. I had to change back my happiest day on earth. You know what I mean? For a while, it was my wedding, which is tradition. And then it went back to what it's always been. The time I was on a bus, and I saw a homeless man fart so loud, it knocked over a child. <laughs>